Hello everyone, this is Akib Javed. Welcome to you all on Pabli. So guys, in this video, you are going to learn how to connect Facebook lead ads to monday.com automatically, right? So guys, before I start explaining to you how we are going to do this, let me tell you why you should watch this video. So guys, if you opt this method that I'm about to tell you, you can convert many leads of yours into your customers. How? Let me tell you. Suppose that you use Facebook lead ads to generate leads for your business and you use monday.com as a CRM application to uh, communicate with your customers, right? So what if I tell you that you can add the leads that you generated from Facebook lead ads into monday.com application as a new item? Yes, guys, this can happen. Let me show you. Uh, and if you opt the method that I'm about to tell you, what will happen whenever a new lead got generated here from Facebook lead ad, the same lead will get automatically transferred to monday.com as a new item and saved, get saved here. And to get this done, guys, I'm using a software here called as Pabli Connect. So guys, Pabli Connect is an integration and automation software. And what it will do, it will connect these two applications together such that whenever a new lead got generated from Facebook lead ads, the same lead get automatically added here in monday.com as a new item, right? So, and the best part of making this automation, guys, is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So any non-technical person can also make this automation. So let me give you a demo on my screen of how this connection or automation is going to work in real time. So guys, this is my computer screen and here you can see I have this Facebook page. Okay, so this is a page to promote my business and here we are running Facebook lead ads. So whenever we got a new lead from those lead ads, we want to add those leads here in my monday.com's Monday dashboard so that we can communicate with them further. Okay. So we are using the CRM features of monday.com here. Here I've created this board and here I've created this group, Facebook lead ads. And I want to add the leads from Facebook lead ads here in this group, okay? So I'll show you. I'll generate a new lead from this lead ad form, you can see. From this lead ad form. And the same lead will be added here in this group in monday.com, okay? So let me fill the lead ad form here. So I'm generating a new lead to show you the example. Okay, so this is the name of the lead and now I'm clicking on next here and submit. Okay, so you can see we have generated a new lead. It is saying your test lead has been sent, right? Now let's check in monday.com if we got the same lead here in the group. So here you can see we have added a new uh, contact here with the name Shahid Khan in this Facebook lead ads group that we have in monday.com. Okay. So now you guys are wondering how I managed to bring this person here in my monday.com without any manually adding this data just by filling the lead ad form here and the same lead get added here in my monday.com uh, in this board lead collection board and in this group Facebook lead ad here like this. So let me give you the easiest possible steps by which you can also make this automation and collect your Facebook lead ads here in monday.com. So guys, these are the three easy steps by which you can also make this integration and connect Facebook lead ads to monday.com. Okay. So step one is connect Pabli Connect to Facebook lead ads. So first of all, we are going to open Pabli Connect and connect our Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. And step two is Collect the data from Facebook lead ads in Pabli Connect. Okay, so in second step, we'll generate a new lead from Facebook lead ad forms and collect the data of the lead here in Pabli Connect. And step three says send the same data to create a new item in monday.com. Okay, so finally, we are going to send the data of the person who, uh, which we have collected here in Pabli Connect to monday.com to add a new item in our list here in monday.com. Okay. So first of all, let's jump back to our step one and open Pabli Connect. So in your internet browser, type here P-A-B-B-L-Y that is Pabli.com. Okay, so this is the landing page of Pabli. From here, you have to put your cursor on this products and click on Pabli Connect. And now you can set up your free Pabli Connect trial account in just two minutes by clicking here on sign up free button. 
and I have already done this so I'm going to click on sign in and from this all apps section I'm going to public connect panel and click on access now okay so this is the dashboard of public connect and to start working here you have to create workflows like these so to create a workflow we just have to click here on create workflow button and here you have to give a relevant name to your workflow so let me fill the name here so I filled the name as send Facebook leads to monday.com okay now click on create here and you will see that your workflow is created like this and you will find these two things first the trigger and the action so public connect work on these things the trigger says when this happens action says do this all right as in our use case the trigger would be uh, to generate a new lead here in Facebook lead ads and the action would be is to send the same lead to monday.com in a new group in a group okay so first of all click here on this trigger window and from this choose app choose your application as Facebook lead ads this one okay then click on this trigger event and select new lead option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and then click on connect with Facebook lead ads okay so you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected with Facebook lead ads now it is asking for the pages name in which you are running the lead ad lead ads so guys this is our page the name is electronics digital shop so you have to find this page here in this list when you click on this field you will find the list of all the pages that you have created in Facebook so from here you can find your page this is my page electronics digital shop okay and now you can see the lead generation form get automatically selected like this okay uh, so you can select the leaded forms from this list uh, if you have more than one forms like like these we I have in my uh, Facebook page so select your form that you are using so guys you can see I am using this lead form here in this page so I'm so I'm going to select this lead form okay now when I click here on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the most recent lead generated from Facebook lead ads so I'll show you how it is going to happen so I'm going to generate a new lead here again and then we'll capture the data so I have filled the lead ad form again like this now this time the name is Akib J Khan and other details now I'm clicking on next here and then I'm going to submit this form okay you can see it is saying thanks you're all set and it is saying your test lead has been sent now I'm going to click here in public connect on save and send test request and you will see the data of this lead that we have just generated is going to be captured here like this okay so the data is captured now what we have to do we want to uh, send this lead to our monday.com here in this list facebook lead ads okay so for that we need to have the date and time also so you can see we have this created time here in this label but, but the time is in this format date and time together is in this format so we need to change this format and we want this date and time separated for that what you have to do click here on the section window and apply here date time formatter by Pavli this is date time formatter and in the section event select format date only okay then click on connect and here in this date field we are going to map this date this one okay so to map the date here so we have we are mapping the date so that whenever a new lead generated this date thing date and time get automatically converted as we wanted right so click on date here then you will find this Facebook lead ads option click on it and just click on this created time and the date and time will be mapped like this now it is asking from format so this is the format we got you can see we have this year month date and a T in between then hours minutes seconds and plus zero 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 so this is the same format we got so let it be this format only and now in two format we are going to convert this to this format let me show you okay this one so we are going to select this format yymmdd and the time like this okay so select it now click here on save and send test request 
so you can see now the date and time is converted into this format so we have removed this 000 and the t in between and we are just having yymmdd and the uh, r minutes and second okay and this also we have in utc format which is the universally converted time format which lags behind indian time format by 5 hours and 30 minutes so we do not need to change this but we want these two things separated so to separate these things click here on this plus icon and from this choose app we want uh, let's choose text formatter by pavli okay so this is text formatter we have and here in this action event select the split text option then click on connect and here it is asking text to split so here we are going to map this label result label here and here we have this date and time so to do this click here on this field yeah and you will find the second step date time formatter step click here and find this result label and map it like this okay and here it is asking for separator so we want to separate both of these things and we have a space in between so we are going to uh, add this as separator so just copy this space here and put the space here like this okay and here in this segment we want we want both of these th two things separated the date and the time so here in the segment index select all option okay when you select this first option the first part gets separated and if you select second the second part the time part will get separated okay so i'm selecting la all here okay and click here on save and send test request and you can see that we got the time here we got the date here and the time here right so now it is time to send this data to monday.com and for that click here on this plus icon and from the section step choose your application as monday.com this one okay and here in the section event select uh, create item this one and select uh, click on connect here and from this window select add new connection and here it is asking for this api token so to find this token you have to go to your monday.com's dashboard let me show you this is our monday.com and here you have to click on this uh, profile option uh, profile icon here right like this and here you will find this admin option click on this admin okay and from here you will find this api option click on this api and here you can see we have this personal api token here so you can generate your own token if you do not find the token here by clicking on this regenerate key so i have this token so just copy this from here and paste it here in this field in this token field in pavli connect like this okay then click on save and you will see that will be connected with monday.com like this okay now it is asking to select the board okay so we have this board here you can see uh, you can see we have created this board lead collection board okay and in this board i have this group facebook lead ads okay so in pavli connect select your board then select your group okay so now it is asking for this item name so here in this field you can enter the name of uh, your facebook page from where the leads are coming okay so the name of our page is uh, okay so we do not have the data of the page so you can manually put the name of the page like this electronics digital shop okay like this so now it is asking for the name so here in this name we are going to map the name of the person whose data we collected in the first step from this facebook lead ads click on it and find the name here and map it here right now it is asking for this date so you will find the date here in this tab you can see separated date and time so now we are going to map these things here okay so click on date field then click on this text formatter option and you will find this separated date here map it then you will find the time from the same place from the text formatter like this okay and it is asking for the name again so let me map the name again or you can leave it blank if you want 
and in this email let me map the email which you will find in facebook lead ads this is the email we got and we also got the mobile number from this uh, uh, facebook lead ads so this is the mobile number okay so i'm leaving this mobile number country code blank and when you click here on save and send test request the data that we have mapped here according to this a new item will be created here in this facebook lead ads group okay so let me click here on save and send test request and you can see it showing this type of response data created item and the account id let's check now in monday.com if we got a new okay you can see we got a new item here with the name as akib j khan and all the details that we have filled here in Pavli Connect, which we got from Facebook lead ads. Okay, so connection with Monday.com is working fine, and the workflow is completed. Let me give you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, in this trigger window, we connected Facebook lead ads. Then we selected the page and the lead ad form and collected the data of a new lead here like this. Okay. After this, we applied date time formatter to convert this date and time into this format. Okay. After this, we separated the date and time with the help of text formatter like this. Then we connected monday.com to create an event here in our group, which is this Facebook lead ads. And then we mapped the data required to create an item like this. And when I click here on save and send text request, you have seen the new item is created here, right? So now just click on save and we are going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect trial account and start running this automation instantly so guys this is it for today's video if you want any other type of integration you can contact us at admin at the rate you can ask your queries and discuss it from this forum and check the pricing of this software from this link and guys, as we did today, you can make many different type of integration using many different softwares by Pebbly Connect and automate your business with Pebbly Connect. So guys, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching this video.